This is Bella Dutch from All Seeing Eye Tarot. Here with a brand new reading that I'm going to try out. See if you guys like. The name of this reading is called Four Queens. This basically talks about anybody that may be dating a female. Um, and you want to know her feelings on you. Or maybe you just broke up with a female. Or maybe you're even trying to get with a certain female. Okay, it's broken up into four different elements. Um, I'm going to pull four cards on each queen uh, to talk about the emotions that she's harboring right now, as well as I will pull Oracle for each one of those elements as well, just in case I don't get the story completely correct. Okay, um, so maybe that'll help you out. Okay, I think it's fun. I like it. The first queen up, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, female. Okay, I don't know how she feels. Like I said, this could be same sex. It's not going to be whoever takes the role of masculine and dominant and female. No, it is gender specific. Okay, so if you are dating a female and, you know, you're a female, then you want to look at the women, the queens. If you're a male and you're dating a male, you want to look at the men. Okay, if you're a male dating a female, then you want to look at the women. Okay. All right, so Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have? Let's see. Let's see how she's feeling. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's her emotions now. Wow. The Queen of Wands. She may be coupled with a fire sign. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. That may be on her mind as well. Because it was so eager to come out. Knight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and Eight of Cups. Wow. Okay. Let me look at this. Honestly, I really feel like I'm um, looking at this. It seems like a lot of you, um, well, a lot of earth sign women are feeling as if they had to end a relationship because they felt like they were carrying everything on their own. Okay. Um, it could also be that they, they're not feeling very supported by their other halves. Okay. So if you just recently, you know, um, if they just walked out of your life, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, it could be that they felt like they had to support you. All right. Like you were dragging them down. Um, kind of slowing them down from getting to their ultimate goal to be financially secure, um, to be in that perfectly loving relationship. The earth sign woman, she really wants family and money. Okay. So she don't want just, you know, great love without the money. She definitely needs the money. Okay. She chased the Benjamins. And, um, a lot of people will date a, a female earth sign because they're really good with finances. Okay. Now, I seen the Queen of Wands pop up. It could be that there is a uh, Aries or Sagittarius individual that is pulling on that energy of that Capricorn Taurus Virgo that may be using them, okay, financially using them. However, it doesn't stop this Queen of Pentacles from running and helping this individual. So it's kind of like, why do you complain if you're going to keep running out and helping this man anyway, okay, or helping this woman anyway, all right? Um, I think that they genuinely feel sorry for their ex or their previous lover because maybe they realize that this person can't get by without me, okay? But I'm tired of supporting this person. I'm tired of not getting to where I want to be, okay? I need somebody that can meet me halfway and this person cannot meet me halfway. So it may be time for me to depart from this relationship, okay? Okay. Uh, what do I feel? I feel like this earth sign woman may feel like she may have rushed out of the situation too quickly. And she may be feeling a sense of loss right now and abandonment. Um, only because she's used to having that other individual, you know, um, having to support that person. Sometimes people can fall in love with just helping another motherfucker out. You see what I'm saying? She's used to doing it. So at this moment, she she doesn't know where she's going. She's just moving you know she knows that what she had 
it no longer suits her and she doesn't want it. She wants something better. Okay, so, you know, what happens if you reach out to her? Well, you'll probably get a lot of arguments, you know, and she'll probably, I'm tired of supporting you. You don't pull your weight around here. You don't help me with the kids. You can't bring no money in this motherfucker. I'm done with your ass. You know, it's going to be very argumentative. This is not the time to reach out to her. I'll tell you that. Especially, especially, you know, if you know that this was a codependent relationship, if you were in between jobs and you had to lean on the support of this woman's bank account. Okay. Yeah, that's what I feel very strongly. Um, if you've never been with the Queen of Pentacles and you're looking at her, you're trying to figure out, you know, is she even looking at me? I'll tell you this. If you're financially support, if you can support her, you can meet her halfway, then chances are she's probably looking at you. Okay, because that's what she's looking for at this moment. Another thing is maybe you can't reach out to her. Maybe she you can't contact her or she's never contacted you back. It could be that she's recently getting out of a situation where the last man used her or the last woman used her. So she's very cautious about getting into another situation like that. Okay, her guard is up. Okay, so let's look at the Oracle and see, you know, from her perspective. I like the oracles because it's kind of like the individual is talking and they're telling you what they're going through. Okay, it's not to be interpreted. It is what it is. All right, so the Queen of Pentacles. Any other feelings from this morning? With nothing, there is everything. Okay, number two. <clears throat> it says, from a point of stillness, a moment, a complete universe is opening up to you, endlessly expanding. Your every thought and intention sends ripples of consciousness through the universe. What a creative being you are. You are sending consciousness into motion, bringing your creation into being with every inner desire, with every whispered wish. The universe receives your yearning and aspirations with open arms returning them to you as manifestation in your life. What is really in your heart? Open your arms, sigh, speak your truth aloud to the loving universe and receive it as your destiny manifesting now. This oracle brings a message to you. Something that you want is on its way to you. It may seem to be coming out of nowhere. See that? Coming out of nowhere. No signs on the horizon to give you hope. Yet it is coming to you anyway. It is, a, it is spiritual law that you cannot be denied the manifestation of your heart's desire. Trust and remain open to the tide of universal love rushing towards you, swelling within you now. The wind moves gently through the trees, quiet waters flow. Life's songs calls softly. Okay, so she's determined. She's on a mission. She doesn't know where she's going. She just left out of the relationship. She left rather quickly, but ultimately she has... A goal in mind and it will be met for her okay she will end up meeting that person that can meet her halfway will it be perfect probably not <laughs> you know nothing is perfect but you know it's kind of like you have to make your choice you know do you want to be with that man that you constantly have to do things for financially you constantly have to support them okay but he's faithful and he's always at home or do you want to be with that man that is a businessman that has all the money in the world, but he cheats like hell? You know, you kind of got to pick your demons, which whatever you can deal with. Okay. So that's that for that. And we'll be back with the next queen. All right. Welcome back, guys. Next up, we have the queen of air. This is going to be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius woman. All right. Now, if you have an X, that is, falls under that element, air. Or you have somebody that you're looking at. Element. This is what she's feeling at this moment. And these readings are for this moment. Okay. Not for next month. You know, this is the energy right now. Like I said, I'll be doing this randomly. So I just pick a time where I feel the energy is real high. People want to know what's going on and I'll just do it. Okay. Queen of Air. Okay, here we go. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, woman.
Page of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. The Two of Wands. The Seven of Wands. Okay. This is a pretty decent reading. The Queen of Air is in love. She's totally in love. But the crazy thing about it is she's so in love that she has to be careful not to hold on to it too tightly. Okay. Um, if you are checking out Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you just started dating this individual. It kind of, this woman is almost obsessed with you. Okay. She's obsessed with trying to get that ultimate family, that ultimate relationship that she wants. Okay. Um, this woman is manifesting. Okay. This is what manifestation looks like. All right. She see a small situation. Maybe there's somebody that she has a, a deep crush on someone that she sees a future with. Okay. And she is adamant on working on that and getting her perfect family. Okay. Getting her perfect family. Now there's some fears here. Because with the two of wands and the seven of wands, it could be that the person that she's in love with is not returning um, the same type of love. Okay. She could be working her ass off to keep him. And he could be a ladies man that there's other women that are calling to him. Okay. Also, he may be the type of individual, you know, that feels like relationships are overrated. I've been there, done that, did it. It didn't work out for me. So I'm not looking to settle down. Okay. And the and the queen of air is really trying to prove herself. She's trying to prove, listen, I'm wifey. There is nothing better than me. Okay. And at the same time, she could be beating off all the females as well. Okay. So she may be, you know, checking his phone, you know, uh, making him put in a relationship on social media, you know, it's fear is what it is. She's totally in love. You know, um, <clears throat> if you're coupled with this woman and you're running, maybe because you don't trust her intentions, maybe because a lot of things that she do remind you of your past relationship. I'm going to tell you, give her a chance because she's dead ass serious. Okay. Give her a chance. She's trying to show you that I'm ready for a relationship. I can be the woman that you want me to be. Okay. I can do the work. Give me a chance. Okay. And she's going to be quite hard to resist. All right. Um, another thing is there's a flip side to this. It could be that if you recently broken up with the queen of air, it could be due to your attention's wanting, okay? Maybe she feels as if there's a little bit of insecurity that's creeping up in her. Um, she felt like she was never enough for you, that you always had a wandering eye towards something else, okay? She felt like she always had to fight in a relationship with you because you didn't give her much attention. You didn't appreciate her. She wanted to be this coin in your hand. Okay. And she wanted you to make sure that you were into her that way. Okay. So if you want to get back in this woman's good graces, then all she wants to do is feel appreciated, feel loved, feel beautiful. Okay. If you make her feel that way, then she'll come back. That's simple. All righty. Let's see. What other emotions she may be harboring. Queen of Air, let's see. Knowing without knowing. Okay. 41. Okay. Sometimes the heart knows in a way that the concrete mind and memory cannot. We feel something that we cannot quite express. Perhaps others are quick to dismiss it as meaningless, whimsy, or irrationality. 
Yet that feeling beyond the mind's capacity to fully perceive is the ancient truth of your greater self reaching through time and space to connect with you. Like a phone line, oh, excuse me, like a phone line extending from a more ancient place in the world, you can hear it crackle, perhaps not the clearest reception, yet you can also sense the love traveling along that telephone line. The things that you feel and that do not appear to make sense are the things to trust most now. You are being guided by a force far greater than your own mind. An ancient divine brilliance is reaching to you, communicating with you. You may not hear or understand it with clarity as yet, but you can feel it. Trust what you feel. This oracle speaks to you of the opening up of your higher mind, of the part of your intelligence that can dialogue directly with the forces of divine guidance and creation. These forces... Use symbols, abstract communications through dreams and visions, through impulses that circumvent your conscious mind and have words streaming out of your mouth or flowing through your mind that you have not created of your own volition. Someone speaks to you and you respond with words that you feel or hearing you are hearing for the first time as they pour out your mouth. Whose words are these? You wonder. It is your ancient self that speaks. Trust the strange and mysterious at this time. It is another way, an ancient way of wisdom that you are tapping into now. Enjoy this new sacred connection unfolding. This oracle is also confirmation that you have relationships around you now and continuing to come to you that are from long, that are from times long past. Karmic connections that will take you farther on your journey of love. I have been here before. Aromas open the doors. I walk through knowing. Like I said, I feel like she's totally in love. OK, she may be believing in this particular relationship when everybody else rejects it. And she's fighting for that relationship because deep down in her knower, OK, her intuition, she feels like it's going to work out. So it makes no sense trying to pull this woman's head out of the clouds. OK, she's determined to make this relationship work. OK, and looking at all this fire, it could be with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. OK, but she is. I can't even find a word, just. In love, I'll say in love. OK. All righty, I'll be back with the next queen, guys. OK, welcome back, guys. <clears throat> next up, we have the queen of water. This is for my ladies that are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is going to talk about their emotions. So if you find yourself dating, in love, want to be with, just broke up with a water sign, then you definitely want to be tuned in right now. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, what are you feeling, ladies? Seven of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> As I was shuffling the cards, I started getting these messages that came to my ears that was telling me that the Queen of Water is tired of not being able to decide, okay? I feel like she's totally engrossed in a mission, and her mission is to be with this King of Cups. He's a water sign like her, okay? Um, it kind of represents to me with the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Swords, there may have been some decisions or choices that this Queen of Water may have made that kind of pushed her further away from her goal of being with this King of Cups. Okay. This King of Cups could be her life partner. It could also be her karmic soulmate. Okay. And it kind of represents to me that she feels judged. I'm going to just keep it real. She feels judged. Um, 
maybe she made a decision that kind of cut off communication between her and this water sign. Okay. And now she feels almost as if like, um, I really feel like, I feel like she did something wrong to where she has to put her head down around this man. I, I don't know why I feel that way. I feel like she did something. <clears throat> Maybe she got in bed with someone she had no business getting in bed with. I feel like she chose to have something less than her life partner, her karmic soulmate. Okay. And it's kind of like you made your bed, now you have to lay in it. That sort of shit. Okay? But her decision is what caused these two to take a step back. Therefore, creating some new karmic energy. Let's look at it. Let me go into that Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. See? The inability to choose. It, it's kind of like um, and the Ten of Wands. Go into the Seven of Cups. Let me look at that. Oh, the Page of Cups. Six of Wands. All right, I'll put it this way <clears throat> because I see a couple of different situations. I feel like some of you may be coupled with a Queen of Cups that recently had a child. I almost get the feeling that this Queen of Cups have lost her sense of self. Um, she doesn't know what she likes. She doesn't know how to pursue, okay, what it is that she wants. She has literally become morphed into what he thinks of her, okay? I kind of get a sense that some of these Cancer Pisces Scorpio women just recently had babies. And they only had babies because they felt like it kept their husband around or they kept their man around, Okay? But it was already overwhelming. It was already a testy or overwhelming situation. It's not something that she wanted. Genuinely wanted. But she felt like this was going to keep him from leaving her. If she has all these kids by him. He's not going to want to leave her if she has so many kids by him. Because he'll be thinking about child support. This just look like trapped energy. I'm, I'm keeping it real. This, this is what the fuck is coming up, Linda. Okay. It really seems like a lot of these water sign women are having a lot of children, especially if they're with another water sign male. All right. Um, and then there could be that small select few that may have ended up having sex with someone that they didn't have no business having sex with. And maybe they got pregnant. And because it wasn't conducive to their plan, maybe a lot of them may have gotten an abortion. And this has caused a karmic imbalance. Okay. There's, there's that there, too. Yeah. There was an open pregnancy came out to the public but it kind of you know with the two of swords here I don't want the pregnancy because it's too much because it's not his that I love it's someone else's that ten of wands I don't know where the fuck those feelings came from guys this is y'all I mean listen <laughs> I don't know where that came from that just came out of nowhere I mean, that is like the highlight of the spread right now. Six of Pentacles. Um, for the woman that cut herself in, the, look at that. Look, I, I'm telling you, this is some pregnancy shit. 
I was going to say for the woman that had to uh, get an abortion because she wasn't pregnant by the life partner, the person that she was really trying to be with. Okay. Um, she feels very sorrowful. I think you should give her a chance, especially if you're the king of water. I think you should give her a chance. Okay. Because it almost reads off as if this is codependency. A lot of these water signs have codependency issues. All right. She may have been working very hard to be in relationship with you, but she started to feel like your charity case because you only gave her just a little bit of yourself. And maybe you were spreading yourself out to other women and not just her. So she may have done something vindictive with this seven of cups here and the ace of swords and it got her in trouble. And her thinking that it would bring you guys closer together, it actually pushed you further apart. And maybe this king of cups is having a hard time forgiving the queen of cups. What's the feelings that I could pick up on here? Regret. Shame. Regret. Shame. One minute she feels entitled, whatever she did. One minute she feels entitled as if, well, shit, you wasn't doing it for me. So fuck it. I'm going to do it myself. And then the next minute she feels like, but I love him. And I didn't think he was going to be so upset with me. That's what I feel, guys. Shame. I don't know what else to... I don't know what else. That's what I feel. I feel like she has her mind set on another water sign. And this may be her life partner. Okay. Or even a soulmate for some of, some of you. But she doesn't know how to go about getting his attention. Because he's too busy spreading his love out everywhere else. So she's making a lot of mistakes thinking that it's going to keep him or it's going to make him mad and then he's going to come for her and that's not what happened. It pushed them too farther apart. That's what I feel. Okay. I can't even put another story up. That's what I feel very strongly. That is there. All right, the Queen of Water. Show me. What are the emotions she's harboring? The bride offers herself. So 43. Here we go. There is a sacred offering taking place, an offering of the divine feminine. She is offering herself to the mystery unfolding. This may manifest in a physical way in that a woman of great feminine wisdom is offering herself to you in friendship, love, spiritual companionship, or service in some way. This may manifest in a spiritual gift from the Divine Mother in the form of a life circumstance or situation, whether it is immediately recognized as a gift or not. To accept this offering as a bridegroom, accepting his bride with love, reverence, and respect will bring good fortune. This oracle offers you a message. Accept what is being offered now. Okay, that's for you. If you're the king of cups and you you try, you know, this water sign woman's been trying to be with you. You know, you have to offer you have to accept that offer. That is your life partner. You can't get away from that. Okay? Uh rather through challenge or an easing of the way forward, there is a gift of grace from the divine feminine reaching for you now. Allow her in and be blessed. This oracle also heralds a time of importance in a relationship. You have been revealing yourself and not being afraid of who and what you are, sharing yourself in willingness to connect. Your vulnerability and beauty is acknowledged and will attract the response you need at the, at the perfect time and in the perfect way. Every bride shall have her bridegroom. How careful we must be close. How fragile we must feel. How sad not to be when someone is real. To say approach with caution when we already know that inside there's a likeness and experience goes slow. Okay, so 
this just represents that the divine feminine has found her other half. Okay. She's found her other half and she's trying to give herself to him, but he's not accepting it. But it's also a very slow experience. Because in the process of her offering herself to him, all of her insecurities, all of her mistakes are being exposed in front of everybody. Okay? She's becoming authentic. That's what I feel, guys. And I will be back with the last queen. Welcome back, guys. I wanted to say one other thing on the water signs. I don't think I made myself clear. The queen of water has found her beloved. Okay. And she's trying to offer herself to that man. But she doesn't know exactly how to do so. So in her rebellion, she makes decisions that she think is going to bring them closer together. That actually pushes them farther apart. Okay. Okay. And, and definitely for water-on-water water relationships, okay? If it is water and fire, then absolutely. That could be a twin flame situation, okay? We got the twin flame for the king of cups. It could also be the twin flame for the king of water, I mean, the queen of water, all right? She just doesn't know how to go about it. So she's making a lot of what she think is mistakes, but it's only revealing her true self because in getting with your life partner or your twin flame, you have to be authentic, accepting the good and bad parts of yourself. Okay. So anyway, <clears throat> the last element, we have the queen of fire, the mistress. So if you're coupled with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius woman, or you just broke up or you have, your eyes on the queen of fire. Now is the time to tune in so we can see how she is feeling. Queen of fire. Tower, Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, <laughs> the Queen of Cups, all apart. Okay, the Queen of Fire feels like her whole world is turned upside down. She feels alone and not supported by anyone. All right, um, a lot of fire sign women may feel like I have been here, done this. I went through my transformation. I've been through my awakening. Where is my beloved? Where's my other half? Queen of Cups. Cancer Pisces. Okay. Where is my other half? I deserve it. Okay. Um, the Queen of Fire, some of them are still going through this. Okay. So I have to put it there. And this is the breaking down of the facade of your life. One thing you'll notice about fire sound women is they like to be important. They like to be looked at as having it all. Secretly, in the inside of them, they feel broken, insecure, not supported, lonely, and everything else. But they wear it so well. Okay. Financially, they're secure. All right. A lot of fire signs come in and they're blessed financially. And if they go through financial troubles, there's always, the universe always helps them because they know how to manifest physically, money, materially. But the one thing that the queen of fire has issues with coming in this lifetime is learning how to love. Okay, because even if this is not a water sign that the queen of fire is going after, 
it still represents that last pentacle is sewed up in emotions. Okay. The queen of water is about love, affection, attraction. She's the high priestess. Her intuition is amazing. So is the queen of fires. But if the queen of fire can learn how to put emotions with her intuition, she'll be amazing. She'll be the perfect woman. Okay. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius could pretty much feel like their whole world is turned upside down at this moment. All right. Let me take a sip of coffee. They could have recently undergone a breakup. And they feel lonely and unsupported. They could also be feeling as if they're being used for their finances. And they had to carry maybe a soulmate or a water sign. Somebody was using them. Okay. Would never give them a commitment. But would use them because of what they had. I'm going to put some cards on this. <clears throat> Let's go into the tower. I definitely feel that they're learning independence. And they could be, a lot of them could be getting out of um, karmic situations. Karmic situations where they had to uh, carry karmic partners. I feel like maybe um, a lot of fire signs may have invested in water signs. Okay, financially, all right? It could have been a karmic partner, could have been a soulmate that needed to lean on you, okay? But I don't think that you got everything that you could possibly get out of the queen of fire, all right? Because the queen of fire could be very critical about how she spends her money, all right? It's really hard to get money out of these women, <clears throat> okay? We always like a strong, firm foundation to stand on, okay? So we will never give to the point where we won't have anything left. Go into that five of pentacles. The page of cups. And the three of swords. Also, um, there could have been some sort of pregnancies with a lot of you fire signs. Okay, maybe you recently gotten pregnant by someone that was already in a relationship. Okay, you could have recently had a baby with a water sign that was already coupled with someone and maybe this person went a while on you and they're not helping to support the child at this moment and that can be hurting you okay also the queen of fire could be feeling like you know i don't want him to see his kid unless he has a relationship with me whereas the queen of cups could be feeling like listen i only want to take care of my kid and i don't want anything to do with you you see what i'm saying queen of water let's see Also, there could be some fire signs that, look at that, look at that. <clears throat> there could be some fire signs that are uh, trying to prepare a lot of twins out there, the nine of pentacles. You're preparing for the king of water, okay, or the queen of water, cancer or Pisces, okay, and it kind of looks like right now they're pushing any kind of partnership away from you. Okay, at this time, because some of them just recently had children. All right. So they can be pushing them, pushing the relationship of the queen of fire away. So this could be the reason why the queen of fire is feeling neglected, non-supported, single as fuck. You know, watching him be in another relationship or watching her get into another relationship and just leave you hanging. Okay. Um... Also, it could be that I just really feel like, you know, it's, it goes both ways. I feel like there are some fire signs that may be dealing with karmic cancer Pisces. And then there are some fire signs that may be dealing with twin flame cancer Pisces. There's also some life partners in there. But it kind of represents right now that the queen of water um, cancer Pisces is off the market at this moment. Because there is some other things that are getting in the way of the partnership between these fire signs and water signs. Okay. And it could be um, that the queen of water is married. 
Cancer Pisces married already. Okay. And remember, this looks like the same cards that I got for when I did the King of Water. Okay. Where it's kind of like this water sign wants to have a relationship with this fire sign. But the problem is there's things that keep getting in the way that keep slowing this process down. Okay. There, there's something that stands in the way. So it's kind of like an offer that goes unnoticed. And it could be due to karmic energy. Karmic situations that need to take place. That still needs to break down this queen of water. Still needs to break this person down. Because at this time, the queen of water, if it is indeed a water sign that this fire sign is going after. This person is selfish and not willing to change. Whereas Leo, Aries, Sagittarius could be very giving, but then there's a dominant side to these individuals as well. For whatever it's worth, the balance is not there yet. Okay. You guys would not make a good couple at this time until you go through your process with this tower or they go through their process. So spirit needs to break these individuals all the way down, put them in different obstacle courses that will create support, love them not taking you for granted anymore. So what does the queen of uh, water, uh, queen of fire feel? Neglected, alone, not supported. Financially, she's cool. But when it comes to love, she may be feeling deprived of the experience. Okay. She feels like she can't meet a partner that will support her. She doesn't trust relationships because they tend to fall apart rather quickly. And the only kind of relationship she seems to be getting caught up in is uh, those type of relationships where the other person needs her financially. Okay. So there could be some slight depression on the queen of fire's plate right now. She could be feeling quite depressed. She may feel like she doesn't want to be bothered and she's very afraid of letting anybody in her circle. It's not that she's damaged goods. It's just that she needs to, you know, you got to prove that you want to be with this person, this fire sign, before she'll step off of her throne or come out of her garden to even look anymore. Because the cards that she was dealt previously, you know, made her put up her walls. Okay. All right, so let's see. All right, let's find out what she's feeling. The Queen of Fire. Shifting Universes. Card number seven. Okay. There we go. You are blessed with an opportunity to change gears, to change your life, to jump on the fast train. You are invited to fling yourself off the repetitive treadmill way of life and into a dance through nature to be utterly confused and delighted, to accept the way of divine trust even with its chaos, the instability that precedes all genuine creativity. So here it is, your get out of jail free card, your opportunity to make a mess and find what you didn't know you were looking for. You are being nudged. If you wish, let yourself go down that strange path opening up before you without knowing what it is. Even as you take your next step, your universe is shifting in stranger, more beautiful worlds beckon. Why not go where you haven't been before? You'll find yourself there and realize you are more than what you once thought you were. This oracle has a message for you. If you are thinking of changing locations, jobs, houses, or attitudes, trying something new, especially if it is unusual for you, then the universe is supporting you now. Now is the time to accept what you didn't expect. Accept what you did not expect. The taste and touch of you within thoughts linger on a sweet caress. You come to me. No sounds distract the night's embrace of innocence. The artist's brush across my lips. The palette rich in colors deep. 
to flow with feelings now renewed and blend as one in breath and hue. Entwined our bodies bathed in love and weep with longing slow release. Emotion, song, and soft refrain awaken dreams that never cease. So for those of you that are fire signs that are twins, life partners, and you're waiting on this water sign, I really feel honestly that something is about to shift. Of course, I am a fire sign. So just like the, the card said, I'm confused by what I see as well. Okay, I've stopped looking. All right. And you probably have as well. You just stop looking because at this point, it's like, you know, I don't know if I'm coming or going. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if I even have a partner out there. I'm feeling so lost. I just got off of, uh, you know, all of my blocks that I built up has been knocked completely down. I don't I don't even know how to start to rebuild myself. I don't even know which way to move, which way to turn. My relationships have been dead ends. Um, I'm, I'm sick of the same job that I've been at forever. I'm just I don't know which way to go at this moment. There's going to be opportunities that are going to open up for you, fire sign women. Okay. Take those opportunities. And it could come in the form of a water sign, male or female. Okay. That may come and help you to rebuild yourself back up after feeling broken and not supported. Okay. That's what I feel for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I really do. Um, do like, share, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button so that you know when I upload a new reading. Give me some comments. Let me know if you enjoyed this. If you would like a personal reading where we can talk about your situation in depth. Um, because everybody got a different situation that's going on. But if you need answers, Bella's the one that's going to let it let it be known. Okay? Just be ready when you sit in my chair. All right? Because I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Maybe 1,000. All right? And if you're not ready to hear the truth, then maybe I'm not the reader for you. Okay, because I'm only going to speak the truth. But if you're looking for a personal reading, hit me up at allseeingitarot at gmail.com. Look in the description box below to choose which reading best suits you. Okay, until next time. Thank you, queens.